I know. It's just I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you here. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. Good. I'm glad I have no choice to. <laughs> Okay, will you be here for two seconds? I'm gonna run down and grab sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll come right back. Yeah, okay. This tastes like shit. Hey. Okay. Wasn't sweet enough? No, not at all. Oh no, fuck. I can't even. It's so bad. Did you try it like this? What did you put in it? Maple syrup and sugar. And just in the microwave? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I would usually eat it every morning. Mm. And then at night time. Because I didn't know how to make cookies right. Mm. I would have made cookies for you. Mm. Sarah know that she wouldn't have the votes. Sarah would know she wouldn't have the votes. Like she knows blatantly. Her and Arlie are a lot closer than what you think as well. Oh, I know her and Arlie are really close. That's what I'm saying. So but she... I mean, like, so Arlie's like told her about all this. Yeah. Why though? I don't know. I don't get how that's like smart un until Kenny leaves for the, her to be told. She's that. known for weeks. Yeah. I believe she even knew before I did. About what? But this whole thing I was trying to put together. Well, Adele wasn't very smooth about it either. He kept like dropping it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what do you mean? When did Adele find out? He always found out after like you. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the only one of the only reasons Adele was in because he had his fucking little. Yeah. Well, who else would it have been? Don't know. No. I wouldn't mind Adele if he just like. I'm sure, it's fucking bad. Yeah. And if he was just a little tad smarter, like just. Just like a little, little bit. bit, yeah. Because I mean, like. Just this. To be much. fair, he kept himself off the block for three weeks oh, when he was like one of the biggest targets in the house. Fun though. Four and now weeks. no one's gonna. He's now not four a target. Weeks. Four weeks. Yeah, there you go. And now he's like third in line. Yeah. So it'd be like you and Allison, and then him. Why not you? I'm not a target. But you would go up just next to me. I would go up next to you yeah. just because. And I would probably go home. <laughs> no, I wouldn't campaign. Well, not campaigning-wise, but I feel like they would keep you over me I don't, at this no. point. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't. Yeah. I would doubt. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, you have to. It's going to happen know. at some point. Might not, though. Okay, might not. Maybe I'll just be like, fuck you, now. Pull a damn. Be like, don't ever fucking talk to me again. What? You know what I mean? Like no. He did, like he did with Mrs. And he knew that they were going to go against each other together. And okay, fine. We can do it. If we do, if we need to, we will. Okay. That'd be kind of fun. It would be kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> can let all of our aggression out. Oh my god, <laughs> just flip. That'd be so funny, though. We need to th we need to sit down and really think about how we do it. Yeah. Though, like and what it would be. I feel like it would need to happen before we went up. No. Hondo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can't pull like a Dan like when you're up there. Be like, hey, hey. Oh no, I, I don't think we're that smart. No, I was gonna be like, 
if we think we're getting close enough, even or if we think that someone wins, it's yeah. gonna fucking. If it's gonna be a thing, like I think Allison for sure next week would put us on. Think. Yeah, one hundred percent. But even though like. Oh my god, the from her today. That's yeah. what I was saying too, and then like you should like when I told her about POV, she almost started to cry again. I think I think she's someone who used to start planting stuff in her head. She's gonna eat it up. Something about her just sketches me the fuck well, out. What is she weeks, doing here? That's what, I, that's what I say. Like she came in two weeks late. She's not just here for a fucking laugh. No. Like, I'm just like, oh, here you go, Allison. Two weeks late. Woo. I want to know what her and Sabrina were talking about last night for so long. Do you? I don't really even care because it's just not like she's gonna affect me in any game wise thing. Unless she like wins a POV out of her ass. I mean, a HOH out of her ass. How? Won't happen. Just very luckily. I really can't see it. It could be like a Put very lucky thing, huh? I'll go outside. Yeah. It's outside open? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's, go. Hot tub. let's go. Get up. You're so pretty. Get up. Cool. <laughs> I'll say about that. You look so good today. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks. Right on. <laughs>
talked about Gordo and then talked about life. And it was like... Oh. Frustrating because I was like... Feeling like I couldn't trust anybody. And I was out there trying to be... Not upset. Tried to warn you about her when you first came in. Say what? Tried to warn you about her when, she, when you first came in. I know. Not just, not to be mean, just to, anything that I find out, you know that I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Because you were that person for me, and you helped me, and you were someone that I could confide in from the beginning, and I like that. I respect that. And one day... When all this is over, I'm very excited for you to watch the TV and be like, she really was nice to me. <laughs> Same. Because there were, it's really painful, this game. Like, that night that you were crying in the, in the have not room, I was, like, in pain. The fact that, because, like, if I came down, they would have eaten, they would have chewed me out. But everything, like, the person I am, I would have been down there with you in a minute. And the person that I am, I would have, like, yelled right back to her face mm -hmm. and then fucking left the house. Like, I don't give a shit, but mm -hmm. being here is so different. Yeah, it's so crazy. And you'll always have to watch your P's and Q's. But you should be very proud because Gordo did a good job of that. From... The very beginning. Maybe not with me, but the very beginning. I like your blue pants. Thank you. You're welcome. I got, these were the last pair in this size, and there was another woman trying to get them. And I was like, holding on to them, and I saw her staring at me. <laughs> and she even asked the person, when I was in the change room, said, if she doesn't use those pants, can I have them? Like, if she goes with the lower size, because I was trying on a six. These were eights. Uh-huh. But I tried on the six, and they were a different material. That's weird. It was a different, like, different oh, shipment. Oh, okay. So she was thinking that I wasn't going to take them. Yeah. So she wanted me wanted to try them on, and I was like, no. I'm keeping them, thanks. Bye. Good. Pretty much what made me decide that I was going to have them. <laughs> so, Do you want them? No, I'm going to have them. <laughs> um... Yeah, so that's why I think that I know that Sabrina is loyal to that uh, alliance. It's just you know, she's she's not figured it out too. She's not that loyal though. She is. She's the one that threw Kenny and Sarah's name out too. Kenny's, not Sarah's. Michelle threw out Sarah's. That's what I don't understand. It's to like, you? They're in an alliance together, and Sabrina's thrown out Kenny's name multiple times. I don't... I think it's cracking. Like, the actual alliance is cracking. Because... Because Gordo's gone, Sabrina doesn't have him. Connection. So maybe... You know? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. But that's why I think... Like, Sabrina would vote to keep Kenny over me. And I have no idea about Roro. I think Roro would do whatever Sabrina does. Roro can Kenny be swayable now, though. Because she thinks that I kept her because of our talk yesterday. When really I was just trying to fuck with her. You're so evil. I was so mad at her. Fucked up my HOH. Okay, so even if none of those win veto, which would be the worst fucking thing ever, mm -hmm. Kenny has four votes. Unless you, unless Roro can be swayed, which I don't think she can be. Don't think about that. I'm not gonna think about it until after POV because I'm just telling myself that we're gonna win it, and whoever else is gonna win it is gonna take you off.
My brain's not working. Hmm? My brain isn't working. That spot brain. Yeah. Fucking sucks. Sucks donkeys. The other thing is that Sab and Roro are promising me the world to my face. Yep. They do that. I mean, I mean, I figure out myself this whole five business. Michelle and I were nice to each other off the bat. Mm -hmm. When, um, the first couple of days in this house. Um, like, right off the get-go, we were kind of, like, instantly nice to each other because she was the brunette and I was blonde and we we're both around the same age mm -hmm. and we both came upstairs when I was picking out my bed and Michelle's like oh you can sleep with me and I was like girl you can sleep with me and I was like oh I'm going for you like you know mm -hmm. and then Nick was there too and went with Rochelle or no Rochelle went with a Nick because Rochelle and I were in the same group so like instantly we were nice to each other and we like talked off the start and stuff like that but nobody really knew where Rochelle's head was at. Mm -hmm. And then after Sabrina and Ika, um, Rochelle bonded with Sabrina, and that's just how it's been ever since. Mm -hmm. But told me some stuff in the house that she was hearing about me, which now I know where it lies, mm -hmm. and um, about Ika. And Ika was the person I was in alliance with. So, and Ike and I always said final two together. Mm -hmm. And then um, Serena went to Ika and said that I said things about Ika. And then everything got blown out of proportion and people started saying a whole bunch of things that weren't true. And then all of a sudden I was hated. Mm -hmm. But when Serena did first come to me, she promised me the world too. She's like, I love you and Sarah, you are my main two girls in this house. I want nothing more than to be with you guys for like the whole entire game. And like I promise that I'll be true to you and stay true to like just those two people. And she hated Rochelle. Really? Hated her. And then I talked bad about her a couple times, like Rochelle, because she pissed me right off. Because mm -hmm. she, she does that. Mm -hmm. And um, all of a sudden... They were best friends, and she's like, I hate that you talk bad about Rochelle. She's one of my best friends. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, when the fuck did that happen? She's like, Rochelle and Sarah are the only two people I can really trust in this house. So, it's really hard, but most of the house can see through her shit now and just don't care. And I just want you to be careful. Because... Mm hmm. Mm. And not in like a bitchy kind of a way, but like a mean. Yeah. Like I like her as a person. I'm sure I love her outside of this house, but I don't like mean people. They make me sad. And I feel like you can play this game without being mean. Yeah. For sure. It's so hard to like see happening all. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know, because I have put trust in her. Mm hmm. And then Gordo trusted her, but I knew he was part of it. Gordo didn't have anything to worry about for a long time. His last one didn't even been on the block. He kind of, uh, didn't vote for him. Everyone was more concerned about Kenny and Sabrina than they were about Andrew. From as far as I could see. And John. Because yeah, Andrew's too obvious of a muscle dude. Mm -hmm. It's like a distraction from social players. I guess John and Adele are people people wanted out too, but everything changed for Canada. 
the thing about John is, I, when I came in, I told Andrew, right after that, after the whole ball thing, I was like, I have your back. And I assumed he was with Kenny and John. Yeah. And said, I have all of your backs. Three boys. That's what I said to them. And I said it to John, too. I have your backs, including you. Right. And so, I'm going to lay some knowledge on you. Um, when Gordo, like, when Gordo was going home and was, like, accepted it to the point where he's like, I can't wait, like, I can't wait to see my family or whatever, John approached us and said, if you guys find a vote, because he knew that myself and Kenny were going to vote to keep him, if we found another vote, that him and Netta would vote to keep him. Which blew my mind, because I was like, first of all, why are you going to say that and give him a glimmer of hope? Are you trying to make him um, campaign against Sabrina and make that all fall apart? Are you trying to get me to campaign and sabotage my game, like with Sabrina, like my friendship with Sabrina, because if I campaign to keep Andrew, that would, and if Andrew left, then Sabrina would hate me. Are you serious? Like, mm -hmm. it was like a bunch of different things. And I genuinely believed him because I had his back and I trust him. Mm -hmm. And so the reason that I was telling you to be careful is because he never talked to me for two days after that and completely just didn't follow through on the deal that he proposed. Oh. Even though there was a vote. We found a vote. Okay? So that's why I said that. And I was very upset when Andrew left. Like, I knew Andrew was leaving. I knew that it had fallen apart before the, non the, before the eviction. Mm -hmm. But that's why I was so angry at John. Because I trusted him. Yeah. And I wanted to trust. And I still really do. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I probably would have went after John. Now, I talked to John afterwards and asked him when it all happened. And he said it was because he was afraid of Gordo. He didn't want any... Like, he changed his mind, like, and said, which is fine. And I get, like, want, like I told you, I get wanting to split up myself and Gordo. I get wanting to go to, wanting to get Gordo out. Mm -hmm. um, but my issue was, like, him not talking to me. And, like, I want to trust him. And I told him I had his back. So that's why I told you to be careful. Yeah. It's because all that went down with John. I don't know what's going on. I really want to trust John still. Yeah. Like, I really do. Because I really, on this other side, especially now that it's me against Kenny, all of them are going to keep Kenny. Like, what am I, like, I'm just kind of, I'm trusting you, but I'm, this, I'm just letting you know where my head is at. It's like I'm seriously a free agent right now. Like, my allegiance was to Gordo, and he's gone. Yeah. And I, like I told you, I put all my eggs in kind of one basket. You and I are friends. I'm friends with Sabrina. That's scary shit. But, you know. Yeah. And Kenny promised in front of Gordon that he had my back. But we're against each other, so, you know. Well, after all this is over, and you stay, mm -hmm. um, there's been a, a few people that I've talked to that potentially would want to work with you and I. So, if you, when somebody wins POV and you end up coming off the block, um, and after the nomination night, because after Thursday, then we should sit down and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Either of you could have a choice. I want in. Cool. Good. Oh yeah, by the way, I talked to him. Did I tell you already? No. Oh yeah, I talked to John too. I was like, John, if you, like, for POV, I want Allison to stay and I want to put up somebody else. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, 100%. You can even tell Allison that I would take her off for you. Yeah, he told me that when he hugged me just then. Okay, good. At See? The, at nomination ceremony, he's like, 
POV, if I win it, I'll take you off. Okay, promise. He said promise. Yeah. Which I don't know what, what that means. So don't think he said promise when he asked about that deal. No, he wouldn't have. He only promises when he means it. I hope so. Well, that's what I really do want to trust him. I love him as a person. Like, I would... And I know that him and I will be friends after this game. Like, just from the way he is, like, at home. Oh, yeah. And, like, it's just going to be me and him and his land. Anyway, so... For sure. I really do want to... I want to trust him. Anyway, what were you saying? Saying so, so um, when I stay. Oh, yeah. I would <laughs> love for us to work more together. I mm -hmm. think that would be really beneficial. Yeah. And I think the house will change a lot after Kenny goes home. And it'll change in our favor. Also, um, I would love for you to stay in this game a lot longer and have people who should go home go home first, mm -hmm. especially people that, like, I know this is a game, but are threats and have hurt me. Yes. I don't want them to stay, and I'd rather somebody that I like stay instead yeah. of people I don't. Um, as shitty as that is for me, because I'm their friend, too. I know, and I'm sorry for that. I, I understand. Yes. Yeah. I'm really trying. I know. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but the good part is, is that I want you to stay. Mm -hmm. And um, John has only promised me twice. Three times, actually. He promised me once with Ica. Mm -hmm. He said he'd keep me, and he did. Mm -hmm. Then he promised me with Rochelle. He promised to keep me, and he did. Mm -hmm. And then he promised me the POV with you. And he said that it would for sure be a for sure thing because that's, that's what I wanted. And ultimately, Kenny needs to go home. So. All right. Okay, I'm trusting you. But you can't tell anybody that. I, this is this stays here. 100% stays here. Okay. I promise. And I'm sorry that we talked badly about your friends. Oh, it's fine. I know it sucks to hear, though. Trust me. That is you. You're not even saying bad things. You're saying facts. People have said bad things. Oh, I know. About you. I know. It, fucking. Uh, <laughs> I wish now that I had actually picked up for you. Because I'm not going to lie, I didn't. I kind of just sat there and let it happen, and I feel gross about it. Don't worry about it. People in this house, and there's some really nice ones. And I'm just thankful for the ones that are really nice. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this, this game would suck that much more if they were all horrible people. <laughs> And if I ever say anything about, like, your voice or, like, the fact that you like cookies, it's a joke. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm annoying as shit sometimes. I can be, like, I'm not saying you're annoying as shit, but, like, that's kind of what people say. Anyway. Um, <laughs> it's yeah, okay. Not everybody has their fucking quirks, and I would feel shit if people made fun of mine. Yeah. So I'm sorry, and if people say anything from now on, I will pick up for you, just because I'm sick of trying to be somebody I'm not in this game, and I'm just going to be me. Well, thank you. That means a lot to me. Because I can't really change my voice. I know. And who fucking cares if I like cookies? But I know, I think they eat more cookies than you do. So does Rochelle, and nobody says anything. <laughs> I have no idea. But, um... I sat down and made seven cookies the other day. But they're hard not to eat. They're delicious. <laughs> I am actually called the cookie master at home. Really? Yeah. Love it. And I can't buy cookies. They're gone. I've sat down. And eaten a whole box. And eaten a whole box of Oreos. <laughs> Love Oreos. Kidding. I do it too. Oh, they do it to um, those really, really soft brown chocolate chip cookies. I think they're like the chips. Yeah. But they're really, the soft really ones? soft ones. Yeah. The chewy ones? The chewy ones. I freaking love 